Hey guys, it's me in all colors, and today's video is going to be evacuating your hamster during an emergency, disaster, and stuff like that. Now, this is a really important video that every single pet owner should watch. Right now, I'm talking about hamsters because you never know who this is going to happen to, if this is going to happen to you, to your friend. It's going to happen to about 1% of you, but those two people may be actually you. You never know, and you actually may end up saving your pet's life. And excuse my hair for this video because I did run and then I took a shower and then I completely forgot I had to do a video. So you'll be with my wet hair today. So in case of an emergency, uh, uh, caged animals like hamsters depend entirely on us to save them. If you don't get them out, that means no escape. So in today's video, I'm going to give you some tips on evacuating your hamster. Plus, we're going to uh, make an evacuation kit together. Now, if you are at home, you should totally do this with me because there is no better time to do this than right this second because you never know when this is going to happen. So let's get started. this happened to you and if you have some tips please share them down below because I'm sure a lot of people will find them helpful if you ever evacuated your hamster during an emergency or disaster I feel like this is going to be helpful to all of us. So let's pack. The first thing you will need is a lightweight carrier. Now I have this living world carrier. Now this carrier you should be able to handle with one hand and the next thing you want to have is a bob bag basically that's what they're called. bottle of drinking water. Don't put your hamster's water bottle because you will uh, not be able to put the water bottle in your hamster's carrier. So definitely uh, get a bottle and then you'll be able to pour the water in the cap. So the next thing is dried food and you can either get a Ziploc bag but I prefer these stacking containers. So I just put the hamster mix and then I get pellets and then the seed mix and this should be enough to last it a really long time if I won't be able to go to a vet store. And the next thing you want is a Ziploc of clean, fresh bedding. When you do uh, take your hamster, if you have time, of course, you may want to get a pile of bedding into the carrier so your hamster doesn't feel as stressed when they're going in the carrier. So the next thing you want to have is emergency contact information. Now this is uh, information about the bed that you go to if you ever went to a vet and it's your bed. And also information about vets that are nearby. Now the next thing and the last thing you want to have is medication if your uh, hamster takes any, if your hamster doesn't take any medication. Don't, you don't need it. Now, the purpose of this bob bag is that it's light and you can grab it in a hurry and just go right away. If you have multiple hamsters, um, you need multiple carriers. For example, if you have five hamsters, you need five carriers. Now, this is the only time a critter trail cage will come in handy. If your hamster lives in a critter trail cage, uh, this is going to be a save life thing for you because um, you can just grab the whole critter trail cage because they're so little. If you are not able to get to your hamster, don't put yourself in danger. Run and save yourself first. Remember that you come first before any other pet. If you don't have time but you think you can get the hamster, don't get anything else. Like, get the hamster and run. Don't think about grabbing any food, water, just, just go. Now, evacuating. The most important thing about evacuation is to get your hamster out safely and securely. As I said, their food and water are all secondary, so if you're not able to get it, that's fine. Another thing that you may want to grab, apart from the carrier and the bob bag, is dump the food dish into the carrier. And also you want to even put the food dish in the carrier, for example, if you have a those kind of critter trail food dishes, can use the food dish later for water. And include grass, hidey house. You don't want to do anything ceramic. So yeah guys, this is basically it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you. Now, you really want to be ready for these kind of things. I want everybody to be ready and you never know if this is going to happen to you. And I hope you guys uh, packed your bob bags and the carriers with me. Now, as for those bob bags, you want to put them uh, near the hamster's cage. 
So basically you don't have to go around your room and search for the thing because you don't know, maybe uh, the fire is near the place where you have the carrier and that means that you can get the hamster out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!